division equal grouping today it is the king of the forest shere khan's birthday all the animals of the forest have been invited for the birthday celebrations different animals are sitting in groups let us see how the rabbits are sitting there are 10 rabbits and they are sitting in two groups each group has 1 2 3 4 5 rabbits seated in them now let's look at it in another way a total of 10 rabbits are seated in two groups each group having 5 rabbits it is called dividing in equal groups distributing things equally among people or making equal groups of people or things is called division what are we doing here forming two equal groups of 10 rabbits so we can call it as a group dividing 10 rabbits in two equal groups there are five rabbits in each group this is the total number of things to be divided this is a symbol of division this is the total number of groups this is the total number of things in each group in this lesson we will develop an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups oh who is this appu the elephant he is bringing three necklaces for sher khan as a birthday gift oh no appu slips down and all the necklaces are broken appu had a total of nine pearls in his three necklaces can you help appu make three necklaces with equal pearls again let's do it together first we will put one pearl in each necklace now we have six pearls left now we will put one more pearl in each necklace now we have three pearls left now finally we will put one last pearl in each necklace appu has no other pearls left and his three necklaces are ready let's see how many pearls are there in each necklace yes each necklace has three pearls in other words appu's nine pearls were divided into three equal groups and each group had three pearls let us see what the monkeys are doing at the party three monkeys started feeling hungry in the party they saw 12 samosas on the table can you help divide 12 samosas equally among three monkeys let's do it together yes every monkey will get four samosas here there are 12 samosas here divide them into three equal groups so there will be four samosas in each group what does barbole tailor have in his hand sher khan's mother asked barbole tailor to make some shirts for sher khan's special friends the tailor attaches four buttons to each shirt he has 12 buttons let's see 
how many shirts will he be able to put buttons on? After putting four buttons on the first shirt, the tailor had eight buttons left. Now, four buttons are left after putting four buttons on the second shirt. After putting four buttons on the third shirt, all the buttons are over. After creating groups of four buttons, twelve buttons were divided into three groups. In this lesson, we developed an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups. In the previous lesson, we developed an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups. Let us now look at some examples to understand this in more detail. Example 1 Do you like laddus? Guru Panda also likes to eat laddus just like you. Gulu Panda saw 20 laddus. He wants to carry laddus equally for his friends. He has four empty plates. Can you help him divide these 20 laddus equally into four plates? We can write this question this way. Four equal groups of 20 laddus equal to How many laddus per group? First, we will put one laddu in each plate. We will repeat it till all the laddus are over. We can see that there are five laddus in each plate. In this way, Four equal groups of 20 laddus equals to 5 laddus per group. Hey, 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 oh, 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 what happened? Who is hidden under so many gifts? Oh, look, it is Sher Khan. The poor guy was buried under a pile of gifts. Can you help him? Keep the gifts in his cupboard. You can keep five gifts in every shelf. So, tell me how many shelves will be required to keep 25 gifts of Sher Khan? We can write this question like this. 25 gifts divide 5 gifts Per shelf equals to how many shelves? First, we will put five gifts on one shelf. Now, we have 20 gifts. Now, we will keep five gifts on the second shelf. So, now we have 15 gifts. Now, we will put Five gifts on the third shelf. We have ten gifts now. Now, we will keep five gifts on the fourth shelf. So, we are left with five gifts now. Now, we will put five gifts on the fifth shelf. All the gifts are now over. Oh, wow! <laughs> Look, Sher Khan is so happy. Hope you have understood the concept of division better through these examples. If you want to review these examples, then you can watch this video again. In the next video, we will cover some common mistakes related to this.
division equal grouping common mistakes gaggu hippo is walking merrily he saw some clusters of green grass at some distance on going closer he saw that five of his friends were already there there are 36 clusters in total can you divide these grass clusters equally between gaggu and his friends can you choose the correct option from the options given below let us evaluate each option to find the right one Let's look at option 1. We can also write this option as 5 equal parts of 36 clusters of grass equals to how many cluster per friend per part? In this option, we see that total number of items equals to 36 clusters. total parts equals to five friends parts we have to find out how many clusters are there per friend per part but what will poor guggu eat in this option we have not included guggu while calculating the total parts here The total number of parts is wrong. For this reason, this option is incorrect. This is a very common mistake that we make when we divide. Always count the total number of parts correctly. Now, let's look at option 2. In this option, six friends are being divided into thirty-six grass clusters, which is wrong according to this question. For this reason, this option is incorrect. This is a very common mistake that we make while performing division. Now let's look at option three. We can write this option like this: thirty-six clusters divided among six friends is equal to how many clusters per friend per part? In this option, we have divided thirty-six clusters into six friends. Thus, it is the right option. children in this video we learned to develop an understanding of the division of things into equal groups we also learned to use them with examples and also saw some common mistakes we hope that this video lesson will be useful for you